on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And the seven yard line, the catch is made. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 36 yards on the play. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Flacco from the gun. And he's got it. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Back to the running game. It's Tomlinson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Third and goal, Flacco. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. LaDainian Tomlinson from three yards out. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten at their thirty-five yard line. out of the gun. Flacco looking for Gronkowski and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Touchdown, Chargers! Michael Irvin from six yards away. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground, first and ten. Flacco looks to throw. Open man downfield is land. It's complete. Touchdown! C.D. Lamb, 61 yards. And the Wizards have cut it back within a score. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Charger drive about to get going. 
So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three. Oh, wide open, complete. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Dave Casper, 87 yards. And the Chargers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken at the oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. When you're backed up this deep, sometimes defenses sacrifice coverage for pass rush because they know you can only go so far on your pass drop. You get the back of the end zone. So they came after him. He took the shot downfield. He didn't connect. But boy, that was force against force. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get the momentum going again. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. He's got room past the 30. Look at the big fella go. How about this? He's to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Damian Williams taking it in from four yards out. And the Wizards are back within a score. Benatari connecting on the extra point. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. And here's Benatari now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. He completes it over the middle to Michael Irvin. He'll get it inside the 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. From the gun, they give to Tomlinson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third down. Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
picked off by Kareem Jackson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now Flacco. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Flacco flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Here's Flacco. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A touchdown, the differential, a seven-point game as we get back underway in quarter number three. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together, come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Passing play. Flacco. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Javon Hargrave able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 27-yard line. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he fumbled it, it's on the ground. And picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know a lot of defensive coaches have certain guys on their squad that they look to as drive stoppers, guys who can make big plays, interceptions, knock it free. In this case, they didn't need one. The offense applied it for them, just dropping the ball. Yeah, and that was after they were doing so well on this drive through the air. They go to the ground, doesn't work. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by nine-time pro bowler Ed Reed, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Throwing on second and three. Flacco, this is caught. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. 
with Williams. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. To pass, Flacco. And it's caught. Touchdown. Donald Parham. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Wizards have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Finitary able to tack on the PAT. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. From the six. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. From the gun, Flacco. He's got Michael Irvin complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Tomlin set on first and two. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Flacco. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away a give up the middle to Tomlinson breaks the tackle now an alley and he works it past the 30 almost to the 25 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries Tomlinson again, a first down carry. Shaquille Griffin in on the stop defensively. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And now defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Flacco. Open man, Parham. He's got him. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and ten. Tomlinson it up the middle. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Six yards left on second down. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. They'll run. Tomlinson. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. 
Back at the five yard line now, second and goal. Now Flacco. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command him, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Flacco. And that's caught by Williams. And he's got room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That's a gain of 14. Pressure mounting. Flacco. Buying time to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Flacco. Flushed out right. And that'll be incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage? If they do pop one, it's going to go away. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. Three points are huge. Here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So it comes down to a man who has done this many, many times before, Adam Vinatieri. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. It has the distance, and it is good. Adam Vinatieri does it again. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory.
And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.